subscribe or this will happen to you. <laughs> yeah, you're not subscribed yet? Come on! Six days before we fly out to Worlds. No, no. And five days. Five days, so it's Monday. So we're going to be picking up some new stuff from Gym 300 for the Stoke Strength Centre. A multi pressing machine. A bicep. And a bicep, tricep machine for all you guys to get pumped. Yeah, so we'll go on, see what the script does, suss it out, and then get out of here. And let's go train. Tom can't count to three, so unless you go on three, he always goes on one. This is hard work, bro. I'm not used to hard work. I need to get home, I need to eat the food. Lots of food. Sleep. Man's got mad skills in the reverse, eh? Yes, boy! You want me to reverse something? Come to me! Stoughton Strength Center. Oh, this is a heavy bag. I have to move this bag from here to the sandbag. I think it's about 200 kilograms. Let's go. You want me to do it for you? Jeez. The guy's just warming up the triceps to get a lot pressed and that. Tom's warming up the front and side deltoids. As you can see from the start of the video, we started off picking up a lot of gym equipment and we're also going to be doing our final event session. Going through the motions again, getting the, the lungs kind of going. So we've got log, um, loading, and a lot of truck fuel and Hercules, I may, I might do some throwing as well. Just. Also this morning we had our test, so that was up the nose and the mouth. Fingers crossed we'll get it all clear. Once we get it all clear, then we can kind of chill. We know we're going. We've got our like waivers, obviously, like with all the lockdowns and stuff going on, but we've got our, I believe that all sports athletes are exempt from the restrictions, so we're now okay to do that. We'll get out there, hopefully the plane will be quite quiet. Big Tommy can have about 10 seats to himself. It's time to train! To what? Train! I always feel good, you know? Why come to gym if you feel bad? Why make excuses? What do you think about uh, Matthias pulling out of Rhodes? Yeah, I'm gutted. Um, I love Matthias uh, Kilikoski. You know, he's uh, a year or two older than me, and you know, I respect his training. Even for Martins one match, I think right now Kilikoski would have probably won World's Strongest Man, or you know, like been very hard to beat. He's very uh, what's the word consistent at all his events. So you know, it's a massive loss to Strongman. Plus, I wish him a speedy recovery, but. It's opened the door up for a lot of people now, and, uh, and I was confident anyway that I, I could beat the best in the world. So, uh, but I really wish him a best of luck. I don't know Polish, I won't be saying anything silly, but yeah, best of luck, speedy recovery, come back stronger, and let's fight in 2021. <laughs> guys hope you're enjoying watching this amazing video but tune in tomorrow for a special guest a is, it, is, it, is it Tom? no it's a special guest like proper like a good, a good guest to have not just special Obviously it's the last week of training for Worlds. Is there yes. anything you're uh, working on specifically? Um, just just making sure our power, that explosive power is all kind of, like the fast twitch muscle fibres is all there. Um, going through some rep stuff, getting the conditioning, getting the lungs going, because that really doesn't tax us too much. Like, 
I wouldn't necessarily go and do a, like a one rep match just now because we're so close to a competition. It's more just getting that, that lungs going, getting the breathing kind of kicked in. Um, so that's what we're working on just now. And then, you know, cometh the day, cometh the hour, hopefully, everything will go okay. Uh, I think I'm going to go for 160 for six, maybe, hopefully. So, see when you do strongman cardio, you go from this to this. Yeah. I was coming in to do 160 for six and it felt comfortable enough. Um, around about 45 seconds, so you know, it's, you get about a minute and a half in the competition, so it's quite a good time for me. Um, I feel fit, I feel ready, so it's good. Um, we and Luke did that really fast there, so you know, it's a. Uh, it's good that we can actually still push this far on into training as well, you know, so it's, uh, yeah, I feel really good on that log. A nice, confident booster, because at Worlds 150, 160 might be the mark. I know I've got another three or four there, if I need it, you know, with another 40 seconds or something, so, oh, yeah, it feels good, like. I've kind of done, I think I've done nine reps before in Worlds, so I'm stronger than I was then, so I think on the day, yeah, I think if I needed it, nine or ten reps will be there, so yeah, pretty happy. Yeah, all good. Got the transitions and the reps and it will get faster by the time we peaked. Next year we'll be lifting a log as in World's Strongest Man, so that's going to be pretty cool. And then what we do now, so a loading. 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 This week for me is more about technique stuff. I just want to try and get it as uh, fast off the line, you know, it's, that's where uh, I know people will lose, lose points and get slow as off the line, so for me it's more just like about 10 metres and just trying to get it fast off the line, so. Yeah, so for me this week's just like about um, getting fast off the line. And oh wow, we must be like robots, we know exactly what each other are doing, so that's quite cool. That's quite cool, oh, jinx. Touch wood, touch black magic. Touch, touch black magic. Shut up. Shut up. Well, let's go train, let's go train eh? This is the, the loading that we're going to be doing, so we've got the 100 kilo or 115 kilo with the wet sand. We're going to do one length, excuse me, drop it, run back here, run back again, pick it up and then run back with it. Simple. So next uh, set, I'm going to do set up the 100, 125 in keg, basically 
100k to that side, run back, 125 to that side, run back, keg to that side, job done. So you were uh, working in the rigs last year, does it make it a lot easier doing this full time? Oh yeah man, I mean, this time last year I'd be bobbing around in the middle of the North Sea not having access to the world class facility that we have built here, so yeah it's a lot easier. I wouldn't say it's a lot easier, it's just we can be a lot more consistent in what we do, so another little improvement that we've made along the journey. I'm just happy that I get to train with Big Tommy. Man's not hot. I one, two, five. I didn't caught a catch very well. How'd it go, bro? Give me two minutes. This is more about just getting it moving and kind of just technique work. I did this on Friday and I wasn't as happy. I felt more slow and stuff. Yeah, it felt a bit better today. Did two nice sets, two nice runs. That's it done. No, we're not killing ourselves. There's no point going all out and doing three or four implements. It's just like I said, technique work and really really getting off the line as quick as we can with the kegs and sandbag if you think for me it's about getting off the line as fast as you can if you can get a good pick up you're not going to drop the sandbag uh, or the keg in my eyes um, I try and pick up and run at the same time uh, so if that goes wrong it's done but if but usually if I can get it high enough up the line I'm that tall that I can then just go to the end of the ground but yeah it felt good um, the log felt good this felt good so hopefully trap pull and Hercules will feel just as good yeah. It was okay actually, just happy to get moving and it not to be too sore, so that's nice. It's still a little bit nippy my hamstring, but it's so much better than it was a couple of days ago, so that's why I'm just kind of taking it easy in the pickup, so I'm hoping this time next week everything will be all good. Yeah, I'm pretty confident that things should be okay. The conditioning side is not too bad, I feel okay with that side. It's just a bit more laboured when you've got a little niggle and you've got a kind of a more heavy on my right foot at the moment so it is what it is we'll be fine on we'll the be day. all good boys uh. thanks for interrupting again Tom sorry loading's done very successful now we're going on to something called the trap pool sim sim simulator right I'm on the fourth heavier setting so let's see how this feels I was choking. That was heavy. I'll go again after. So just to save, so we're going to try number four, just to, I don't have my rock climbing shoes on, but just try and get into that low position and try and get a little bit of momentum. See how it goes. See you later on, mate. Slippy. Just move over this way a bit, Tom. Good. Oh. 
So trap pull simulator done. Um, we were just more kind of get it off the line, you know, that's a really, really hard uh, piece of kit to use, you know. Um, like Luke said earlier, nobody's ever done it on the top setting. I don't think many can do it on the, even the two, few settings below. So I think we had it on the fourth or setting highest and you know, I got it on for two or three meters. We're gonna do some uh, pick up uh, pushes up the hill. Again, I think this will be good just to get the, the legs working as well in sync. Let's see how this goes. Unless Luke puts the handbrake on, it might not go very well. How's this gonna work? So basically, two seconds top. So we're going, we've got a bit of an uphill gradient at the moment, so I'll just put it in neutral. I've got my foot on the brake, and then when we're ready, I'll take my foot off the brake. Obviously the red lights will go, and then Tom will push up, we'll reverse, and we'll try it again. So give that a wee go, see how it goes. I felt like it wasn't going to stop. Oh, get ready when you are. Oh. Hold on, you fanny, you're driving. <laughs> and drive. Keep coming. That'll do you. End for neutral. What do you expect? It's Tom. You know what I mean? Three, two, one, go. It helps keep your legs going for a truck pull as well, doesn't it? Like in that sink. It's good to keep uh, keep those legs going and yeah, it's a nice wee lamb buster as well. So we did a lot of it in the simulator. It just wasn't the best, so we did we flipped it to some uh, truck pushes up the hill, which was good. Uh, just did a couple of sets of that. Kind of got the lungs going, the legs burning. Um, so it was decent enough. Right, on to Herx. We've got going to do a Hercules hold now, our makeshift Hercules hold. Tom's in a rush. Yeah, so just added a 20 kilo at the start. This will be a bit more like comp weight. We've got three bands. So that's what Tom and I were saying. The more you pull on the bands, the more resistance there is. So we need to really pull on that to get it as tight as we can. So it really pulls in the hand and kind of works the grip. So yeah, it's it's, it's not a bad actually. It's not a bad replica, I don't think, because it's. And these spin as well on your hands, so that's another kind of little bit tricky. <laughs> yeah. One minute. Yep, two. Oh. Harder than any earthly fall I've done. Holy. Oh my day. Wow. One minute. Yep. You can make them as hard or as easy as you want, but what we're doing, you really want to lean or pull that resistance bands as much as we can, so we're getting that really strong kind of pull in it, so it mimics that Hercules hold. So, you know, we did one facing, and now, so then your right arm's the heaviest with the bands, and then we're going to flip around, so now our left hand is on the, the heaviest one now. So it's just kind of preparing each, Preparing ourselves for like a heavy Hercules hold, I guess. Honestly, that is, even though I was crap at Hercules hold at Giants, I'm improving, but that is, I've never felt my forearms grip, shoulders rip out of my sockets before. And I had Simon to motivate me. Oh, hey right, guys, well that's a decent session. Uh, kind of final 
event, kind of session done. I'm happy with the uh, Hercules, I mean, I'm not the best at it, but for me that is the hardest one I've done. Um, the way Luke said to take more weight at the band side, so you can really feel the squeeze all my days, man. I felt it everywhere. My forearms were literally giving away, so, but it's really good to do that, because mm. that is probably one of the hardest ones done, and I think that'll be close to Worlds, like, so. Well, it, was, it wasn't so much a grip, it was the forearms. Yeah, it was way. more the forearms, and we were leaning forward, we were standing forward as well, so everything was kind of working harder, so. Mm. It was a good, good, we uh, blow out to end, end the event session, end the turn of training for strong uh, Worlds, isn't it? And then, so like you say, the rest of the week just kind of, Getting the blood going, doing some conditioning stuff. Keeping Nothing stupid, really. Yeah. No, no, just. So you won't see any stupid event uh, challenges on a YouTube till we get back from World Strongest Man. Don't forget our special guest. Should we tell him who? I don't think we should. He's a legend of the strong man. We'll do hot and cold, but he needs to to get into the stroke and strength. So he needs to go into the so the proper cold tubs. Any future guests that are coming up, any future special guests. So it's him going that one. You have to come in. The big tub. Yeah. If you're not, if you don't, then you're not welcome here. We'll buy your train tickets Simple. the next same day. You home. can come up here and you'll get go get back down. And then when we go out to Worlds, we're going to try and keep you updated as much as we can. Simon's going to be working round the clock, 24 hours a day, getting content out to you. Unfortunately, Simon can't come out here. Uh, out to Florida with us because we're going to be in a bubble. So it's only like the world's strongest man crew and competitors. So it's just Tom. But yeah, we'll, get, we'll get the journey over as well. We'll just get as much as we can so that uh, we, we keep the YouTube consistent. And keep you guys updated because you guys are the most important ever. We love you. Thank you for watching. Don't forget, though, keep liking the videos, keep commenting, keep sharing them, keep sharing the love, keep being spicy. Uh, let's get us to 100k by Christmas, come on. And we'll do something extra spicy for you on Christmas yes. Day. So Stay safe, smile, and stay spicy. And please keep ringing that little bell, guys. Ding dong, dingy dingy dong dong, boom boom. Ding ding ding. <laughs>